How to add DHL to Shopify. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in this super quick and easy tutorial. So if this video helped you out, please let me know in the comments or just leave a like so I actually know that this video helped you out as well. So let's just get started. What I'm going to do is simply go to the apps and then to um, the app store over here. And what I'm going to search for is simply DHL. And once you have searched for that, the one where you want to look for is uh, DHL e-commerce. Um, there's actually a bunch of different uh, DHL apps, as you can see, but a lot of them aren't compatible. Um, that is because some are only for specific regions and uh, some just, yeah are not compatible so for example this one's only for the uk and since my store isn't based in the uk that's just um not possible so i'm going to click on dhl e-commerce so this is the one that i'm going to use but um for example if you are only from the uk or your store is based in the uk then you can actually go uh with this one for example um but um yeah i'm going to go with this one i'm going to click on install this will bring you over to this page where you have to click on install again and now we have actually added this to our shopify now here it says new and improved how do you want to use this app so we can um we can also change this later but we can use it as a plugin or a connector so what are what is the difference or what do these do well the plugin is if you want to use um and create and print labels inside of Shopify as well as DHL. And the connector is simply just if you want to connect your store with the DHL portal and just create um, and print labels in the DHL portal. So here you can see create and print labels in Shopify and here you can see create and print labels in DHL portal. So then, we, then for this one, you connect your store with DHL portal and this one is just all inside of Shopify. So it's kind of just which you uh, prefer. I think the plugin is just pretty nice. You can actually just um, later on change this as well. But I'm going to go with this one and simply click on save. Once you have saved this, it will bring you over to this page. If you need Shopify, but you're not sure yet, or you're already enjoying Shopify, or you know somebody that needs Shopify, then what you can do is bring your ideas to life for one euro per month. So what you can do is go to the link in the description or the pinned comment under this YouTube video and sign up for a free trial and enjoy your first month for one euro. So grab the deal now before it is gone and yeah, good luck with your store. So here we have to add our user API user ID and API key as well as our API account ID. If we want to do this, we need to first have a DHL account. So if you haven't uh, created one already, you want to go to um, where it says immediately here. You want to click on there because this will bring you over to their page. Now here you can scroll down. Here you can see all of the uh, shipping rates and everything. But we want to register now. And here we need to create an account. Then later on, once you have created your full on account, uh, you want to go to your uh, Shopify again and here you can see your API user ID and API key can be generated in your my DHL Porter account under settings API keys. So that's what you need to do once you have a portal account. I am actually not able to create one right now, but um, yeah, you simply just want to paste these in here. Then you can test the connection and retrieve account data. Once that is done, you need to fill one last thing in here and then you are pretty much done because here you can now see all of your orders then here you can change the mode from plugin to connector here you can leave feedback or something and then here in the settings we can also see this here we can see the label so we can um edit this as well we can edit the shipping rates shipping address uh, here as well and then the usability as well so that is um kind of it that's how to add dhl to shopify